Initially, before any editing could begin, I had to place the audio files from my audio folder onto Soundtrack Pro. For example, here you can see me drag the audio of character Thomas. This is a large segment of his audio, however I only wish to use a particular part of the audio. So I press the B key, which selects the blade tool. The blade tool is pretty self-explanatory. It allows you to cut up the audio and get rid of any excess or any unnecessary pieces of audio. Although all of the audio clips, sound effects and music are labelled, it can often, it could sometimes be a, an issue when editing to distinguish which is which because they were all the same colour. I overcame this issue by changing the colour of the clip. To do this I selected the clip, right click the clip, clicked on clip colour and then changed the clip to the desired colour. All sound effects were changed to red colour to the colour red and all music was changed to the colour yellow. The rest of the audio files were left as green. In this particular clip we can see Thomas's and Nurse Catherine's audio overlap. We need to use a fade to fade out Nurse Catherine's audio and fade Thomas's in. To do this I hovered over the left corner or the right corner of the clip until a little grey box appeared. And then I dragged the fade to the desired location. I also use the same effect at the end of the letter where Nurse Catherine and Thomas's audio again overlaps. However this time the audio is in sync with one another so I can fade them out at the same time. I also use the fade on the heartbeat and the Michael Nyman piano. I use sound envelopes to help overlay the music, sound effects and audio all at the same time. This was so that all could be played together with great effect. I firstly de decreased the decibel levelling of the heartbeat effect. I then plotted the rest of my sound envelope points and change them accordingly. This heartbeat effect which is present in my piece helps to build the idea of suspense. I had to make the sound effect prominent without taking the audience's mind away from the actual dialogue itself. I first off started playing it quietly and as the suspense built up I rapidly increased the volume of the clip. 